Hi. Good morning, everybody. I'm pushing it a little bit. Maybe I can get it all, these videos all done before it gets daylight. It's like 5.30, so I can get them all done. <laughs> today we're going to be talking, today is your be uh, glorious hump day Wednesday. March the 8th, 2022, and, um, episode 1010, <laughs> episode 1010, and you can more refer to it as 1010, episode 1010, <laughs> and that, for the next few days, that's what it's going to be called, it's going to be, I'll, I'll say the number, and I'll turn around and say episode 10. It's like 10, 10, 10, 11, 10, 12, something like that. That's, what I'm gonna, that's how I'm going to say it. So, But today we're going to be talking about the next installment of the Dust series with number 147 and the Flame of Gifts. Beginning with 2 Timothy 1, 6 from Henry Morris, Henry M. Morris III. So, if you enjoy the... Watch the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Don't forget to leave a like. Your like challenge is um, uh, five video, five Daddy Devo, five Turning Point, and four likes only, or all ten Ten Commandment videos. They're on. They're on playlist by themselves, so you can get to them better. Hang on, just a sec. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Thought I had this knees, but then I turned around and got a bad cough. It went from sneezing to kick on the back of my throat, made me cough. So didn't want to do that on camera. But um, how was your Tuesday yesterday? What are you looking forward to in this glorious hump day Wednesday? Let me know in the comments. Um. Today we're going to be talking about the Flame of Gifts. Subscribe if you do, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends, and help me reset, hopefully, goal of 100 subscribers for my birthday. If I don't get, uh, if I can't get the 100 for my birthday, I'll settle for hopefully having 50 or more by then, and hopefully set the goal of 100 for the three-year anniversary that I'll be on YouTube, which is the end of May. So you have like a, almost a whole nother month after my birthday. To, so if you'll, if you'll do that for me, I would greatly appreciate each and every one more than you'll ever imagine. So let's talk about the flame of gifts. <sighs> Cough made me nose clogged up a little bit. 2 Timothy 1 6 says, Wherefore I put then, wherefore I put thee in remembrance, and that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in me by the putting on of my hands. Hmm. Some sometimes in the verses I just I don't understand how they put how they um how the verse flows the way they do them. So. So the Apostle Paul uses more unique words in his writing than any other Bible author. Such is the case with the verb anaz o puro, a n a z o p u r e o, which is translated as "stir up." So the word "stir up" in our beginning passage. And it's a, it's a compound of three Greek terms. Ooh. Anna, A-N-A, is a, pro, is a primary preposition, an adverb, and most often translated as again or each, depending on its context. Zune is frequently used noun, meaning life or living creature. And pure, um, pur, P-U-R, is a root word meaning fire or fiery, since this is only used this one time 
in the scriptures. To translate it is a bit difficult to coin an adequate English word or phrase for. Bring the fire alive again is certainly applied from the syntax. Make each fire alive would emphasize the implied multiplicity of gifts. The tense indicates an ongoing process and the direct object, the gift, seems to emphasize the need for Timothy's action. Since God gave Timothy the special leadership gifts when Paul personally ordained Timothy. Okay? So Paul's first letter to Timothy implies that the young disciple has allowed the fire to grow weak in his ministry. Difficulty, discouragement, and doubt can attack anyone. A patty, pessimism, worry, or lack of confidence can spin into, into lack of support or encouragement from friends or coworkers. Whatever the case, or whatever the cause, excuse me, the results are the same. So we can quench the spirit, 1 Thessalonians 5.19, so that we no longer sense his leading. We can even grieve the spirit, Ephesians 4.30, bringing conviction to us in an effort to bring repentance and restoration. Such discipline is not pleasant, but is necessary, Hebrews 12.11. But if we are to live in active joy while serving the Lord, we must stir up the gifts that he has carefully given us. Amen? So that's all I have for you today. I'm, 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 trying, to, I'm trying to speed so I don't ramble too much. But um, tomorrow we'll be talk, talking about another entry into the Genesis Journey playlist. Tomorrow will be episode 1011 or 1011, part one. And we will be talking about biblical creation is real history. Beginning with Genesis 1, 1 and 2 from Chaz Morris. So, so stay tuned. I'll get, stay tuned for that. I'll get to that later tonight, but you'll see that one. I'll get to that tomorrow morning. And I have to, Without the uh, turning point book, I have to wait till after three so the the new the new uh, Devo will up uh, load so I can do it. So I meant to get out here just a couple hours ago to get start get this thing done, but I uh, over I slept way past. I went to sleep and slept over, and when I got up, I. I just did not want to get up, and, but it is what it is. So, um, so I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God, and He'll keep you safe. And all you say and do in twenty twenty three and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back later. After one. We'll be, we'll be learning about God's powerful presence for part two of episode 1010, or 1010. From Lisa M. Samra, derived from Psalm 68, 4 through 14. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after one. So with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023, and I'll see you later. <laughs> So until then, me and baby, oops, me and baby Yoda, we out until later. So have a great rest of your hump day, Wednesday morning, and we'll see you after one. So, goodbye.